So welcome, this is the demo day for Batch 787. Let's give them a big round of applause. Very big turnout today. Thank you very much for coming here. Thank you for everyone who's on Zoom. Thank you to the students that we have on Zoom as well. We really miss you and we're very happy to, to have you. So yeah, let's give them a big round of applause as well. So very nice to meet you. My name is Manon. I'm the marketing and event officer of the team here in Loag and Melbourne. Um, yeah, really happy to welcome you today because we're really celebrating six months of very hard work. And I think everyone that has done the course or is doing the course know that it's really hard work. Um, so we're very proud of you, first of all, and we're very excited that you get to show such beautiful product tonight. So yeah, for everyone here and everyone on Zoom, like. Please uh, do say, oh, ha, clap, like be excited about it because they really deserve it. And uh, yeah, just have them please, it always helps. Um, amazing. So uh, first of all, I um, just have a couple slides to introduce you to the wagon because you know, if you're here because of your loved ones, you might be a little confused about, about it all and I don't blame you, uh, it is a little confusing. So let me get some slides up. Okay, so who are we? We are a tech bootcamp. Um, so we have two courses. Tonight you're going to see the results of the web dev, uh, web development courses. And we also have a data science course. So first of all, uh, um, yeah, we acknowledge the traditional owners of the country throughout Australia and recognize their continuing connection to land, waters and culture. And we pay our respects to the elders past, present and emerging. So this is an overview of the wagon. Uh, we are in 42 cities. Um, just so you know, a city just opened this week <laughs> in Portugal. So this is very up to date. Um, yeah, pretty exciting. Um, we have more than 14,000 bootcamp graduates. And I think uh, actually this batch is maybe going to be the one that tip offs the 15,000. So uh, very exciting. And we're very, um, you know, we really focus our energy on getting really good student reviews which is why you might find it a little suspicious, which uh, I don't blame you, it is, um, it's very good. <laughs> but it is true, we really uh, spend a lot of time making sure that the course uh, is really what the student needs uh, for their career and to get started in tech. Um, so yeah, just to give you an overview, we are growing in Asia Pacific, which is very, very exciting. Uh, yeah, stay tuned to see the cities that we will open next. <laughs> and. Yeah, so about the web development course that the students have just done. This is everything they went through. So first of all, we uh, get them ready with some prep work so you can join being confident. And yeah, I hope that you remember uh, for the students, you know, how little you knew at that time and, uh, you know, excited you were jumping into it. And then when they get started with the course, we go into all the core foundation for all programming languages. Um, so yeah, you get to cover so many concepts um, and it's intense, but interesting, I hope. <laughs> um, then we dive into the web development part, which is really um, how do we make a website? How do we create a product from scratch? So um, from the user journey to the UI front end and then pushing everything onto an actual website. And that's actually what they've done for the past five weeks for the part-time course. They've created their own projects um, so this is what you're going to see tonight. They're working in teams and uh, creating from scratch once again. I love to say this because it's very impressive. Uh, their own websites. So if you're interested in joining, this is our next intakes. We have a full-time web development, which is 10 weeks, your classic 9 to 5, uh, starting on July 11th. Um, yeah, if you, you're keen on just having a go, you can apply and try out the prep work. Everything is free. Uh, and then you can join the part-time web development as well, which is 24 week, uh, Tuesday evening, Thursday evening, Saturdays for 24 week, which sounds like a lot, but it goes very fast, I think. <laughs> um, so this is for the web dev. We have an open evening. If you have any question, uh, it's on June 20th. If you want to join, it's online. Uh, I'll share the link later. Um, yeah, Paul is running it, and if you have any questions, it's really the place to be. If you're curious about the content, um, you can take a screenshot of this or try and scan these beautiful QR codes. Um, yeah, thank you for <laughs> trying it live. It works. 
Um, yeah, you will have all the answers in the syllabus on you know the content that we're teaching, uh, the job outcomes, everything that you want to know. It's going to be in there. Cool. I hope that you took screenshots. Cool. Everyone here. Okay, no one's frustrated. Perfect. Perfect. And so the second course that we have is data science, uh, which is really different, but also really, really exciting. And they also have demo days, so cannot wait to see the next one. Uh, you'll see that it's pretty much the same recipe because we have prep work at the beginning, so making sure that everyone is comfortable enough in Python and mathematics before jumping into something that is pretty intense because basically it's really using their Python and mathematics skills but applying it to data science and it's quite different, so I think that's fair to say. Yeah, we have some yes at the, <laughs> the back of the class. Um, so yeah, then you get to dive into really exciting concept like decision science, um, deep learning, really, really exciting things because it's really new and students are um, discovering that they can learn so many exciting things that you know not a lot of human beings know how to do. And then they get to do projects, exactly the same principle as the web development. They create something from scratch, create their own model. It's usually really mind-blowing as well, so yeah, I'm hyping everyone up for your demo day. <laughs> Um, so yeah, if you're keen to have a go at data science, we have a full-time starting on July 4th and a part-time starting on September 19th. Um, the prep work is a bit longer, so uh, I would recommend applying as soon as possible so you can get comfortable with all the content. And uh, if you need extra training, you can always uh, talk to Paul as well. Uh, once again, any question? Um, June 13th, we are going to have an open evening uh, to present more about the concept and everything. Um, this is on Zoom, by the way, so you can really join from anywhere. And uh, if you want to know more about the content or the specific tools that we're using, because data science is really like, you know, the tools that you're using and what uh, languages you're using, um, this is where you're going to find all the answers to your questions. So once again, take some screenshots, <laughs> try and scan it, and yeah, really love these QR codes. They're my favorite slide every single time. Cool, if you have any questions or you're wondering if this is a good thing to do in your career or you know, you're know you just not ready to just go just yet, uh, I would really advise talking to Paul. Uh, he's gonna have all the answers. He's talked to every single student that has been through the Wagon Australia. So um, yeah, he will definitely know how to help you and will be honest on whether or not the course is for you, which I think is really great. <laughs> So this is us. Uh, I hope that it got you very excited and uh, that you are ready to see what the students um, came up with. Yes? Yeah, let's give a big round of applause. And so tonight to introduce the team, I have Tom with me. Um, So Tom is one of the teachers for this batch and other part-time uh, web development batch. Uh, hi, Tom. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? Doing good, yeah, yeah. I hope everybody's having a good night. Yeah. Uh, we'll see some very, very cool applications. Uh, we've been uh, helping them build these applications over the past two months, and they're pretty special. So I'm very excited to um, announce these guys tonight. Um, so yeah, without further ado, we're going to start off um, tonight with Rachel, Tim, Shane, and Khadija. So please welcome, a warm welcome for <laughs> Bike Jockey. Hey DJ Rachel. Hey DJ Tim, how are you? Good, good to see you. Good to see you too. You've been killing it lately. You've been doing so many killer DJ sets and you're the talk of the town. Melbourne's number one DJ. I'm really impressed. Thank you so much. I did have to ask. I'm a little bit jealous. What's your secret? I've been a DJ myself, as you know, but I've been spending so many hours and so much time filtering, filtering and sorting all my tracks just to get ready for a gig. And that's on top of my coding boot camp and full-time work. <laughs> How are you doing it? Wow, it sounds like you've got so much on your plate at the moment, Tim. I actually use this application called Bike Jockey. Have you heard of it? No, not at all. Wow, I can't believe you're still manually sorting your tracks. Um, basically, it's uh, an application that lets you connect to your Spotify playlist. Um, I'll show you the, the website now. Let's have a look through. Please do, I need this. Okay, fantastic. So, this is my account. I've logged into my Bike Jockey. Uh, I can 
sort my playlists by um, selected track features. So uh, I've accessed my Spotify playlists. I can sort each playlist by um, a track feature like BPM, key, danceability, energy, and then I can save and create that reordered playlist back into my Spotify account. Whoa, that is super handy. That's exactly what I need. It's really, really cool. You did mention that I have been doing very well, and I have. Um, <laughs> you may have mentioned that a couple of times. I, I yes. have, I have, and uh, I've been using Byte Social to get some more gigs. They've really just been flowing in, and I really think you should sign up as well. Give me all the secrets. I need this. Too easy. I really want to show you the uh, the track sort. Uh, feature yet. I think you, you would really, really like it. So let's jump in there. All right. So all of my playlists are here, all of my Spotify playlists. I just chuck these together when I'm walking or at work, whatever. I've actually got a trance set coming up. Um, you love your trance, I don't love, you? Uh, trance will never die. So always, always one to just um, rely on. So I'll, I'll just jump into my trance classics playlist here. So those are all your playlists on Spotify. Those are all my Spotify playlists. Your yeah, I've just like linked both accounts up, which is cool. so, so handy. And then here is my trance classics uh, playlist that I've made. Uh, Blood, sweat, and tears went into this one. Uh, all of my tracks are here. We've got the title. We've got the artist name. We've got the key, the BPM, the dance ability, and the energy, which are things that don't come through Spotify. Yeah, right. And that's what we need as DJs. That's how we Absolutely. make our money. Absolutely. Super, super handy features to have. So I know you love to fill a dance floor, Tim. Uh, you're a real danceability kind of guy, so... You know me too well. Thoughts on maybe uh, sorting this one by danceability? Yeah, how do we do that? So what do we do here? So there's this awesome uh, just panel here. Let's select the danceability button. And just like that, all of our tracks have... <laughs> all of our tracks have resorted themselves. Um, did we want... Maybe just press it one more time. I just want to show you. Pay attention to the danceability. We've got 45%, that's the lowest, but we want uh, the, the faster ones on top. Hide away, hide away. So yeah, let's click that one more time. And once we're happy with that uh, playlist order, you can actually save it back to your Spotify account. So hang on, so we've got update playlist and create new playlist. So yeah. if I click update playlist, is that gonna override the existing playlist with this new order with danceability up top? That's correct. Cool, and then new playlist would what, just create a duplicate of that with the new order as well? Creates a whole new playlist in your Spotify. I'll actually show you. Wow, show me that, yeah. So we'll create the new playlist and then I'll jump into my Spotify account. And I've got my Trans Classics playlist was the title, if you all remember. Wow, look at that. Six seconds ago, Airwave is now the first track. Uh, and we've got the highest danceability tracks on top and the lowest at the bottom. Revs here we come. That would have just taken me <laughs> hours and hours and just two clicks of a button. Right two there. clicks of it. a button. So, so good. There's another feature which I think you're going to love, Tim. Is that this wonderful little intriguing rainbow button? Absolutely. Give Let's it a click. click that rainbow button. Harmonic sorting. This is for uh, maybe if you're feeling a little bit more advanced, really want to put some work into your set, but not too long because this is about saving time. Uh, harmonic sorting, do you re have you seen this yeah, wheel Yeah, this somewhere? looks familiar. I think I saw this at um, DJ Bootcamp. Something yes. about like, tell, how does it go again? I didn't pay attention much. Right, right. Um, so this is a harmonic sorting wheel and basically it's a tool that we can use as DJs uh, to match up our tracks and make sure they sound really good together. So if you scroll down uh, on my playlist, every single track has been color coordinated to match the wheel. Basically, Byte Jockey lets you click and drag each track in the playlist to order it in a way that's going to sound really, really good together. So all I need to do really is match, match the colours, do a bit of colouring in, and then that'll tell me which ones are the best match and which songs go together. Is that it? Absolutely. And it's um, two clicks of a button. I've been spending so long on this. I Where know, was this? I don't know, Tim. Really silly of you. <laughs> but we can, we can update, we can create, and you can just go back to the regular sorting, sorting if you're feeling like something else. But I really think that you should be getting some more gigs, Tim. So let's make you a social account. Have you got another secret coming up? I'd love to, yeah, I'd love to show you Byte Social. It's how I've been getting all of my gigs. It's how I got the Coachella gig recently. It was really good. 
Um, replacing Kanye, love it. Replacing Kanye when he dropped out. And uh, yeah, as you can see, they've got this cool map feature. I've been getting lots of gigs because people want someone local. So people just uh, check out this map here and sort of see who's around. Some familiar faces on there. I think I've played a few gigs with Nene. Yeah, I think you might have. Uh, lots of community members that we would have played with. I'll actually just show you my profile. Um, yeah, what do you got on there? Yeah, I'll, so it's very much like a social media profile. Uh, we've got my playlists in there. We've got the type of operator I am. I'm a DJ, a booker. We've got some information about me as a DJ in case someone booking me wanted to sort of suss out what I'm all about. Shows my location, uh, gives you an opportunity to actually book me, and you can even link up your social feed. Well, what doesn't it have? This is amazing. This is all you need. <laughs> Actually, that's you, isn't it, Tim? Uh, that's us. Thanks for having... that appearance. Yeah, that was a party to forget, so appreciate that. It actually looks like I've got two notifications there. Do you reckon I've got a new gig? Of course you do. <laughs> Let's check it out. Oh, wow. Okay, sick. So, yeah, that's my past gig that I did on Wednesday. That was really good. Where was that one? Uh, I was at Glamorama. Nice. You were there, don't you remember? <laughs> it must have been so good. <laughs> it was really good. And looks like I've got a new gig on Monday at 2.57 p.m. at Revs. <laughs> That's the prime spot. So, so good. Yeah, well, I, I hope you loved uh, the application. I think you should definitely sign up. That's amazing. So that's your secret. I'm definitely going to jump on board, sign up, and sort my tracks. And I'm coming for your crown as Melbourne's number one DJ. Thank you. Bye, Chubby. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bye, Jockey. Um, yeah, so just so you know, Rachel is actually a DJ and this is actually the product that she pitched so she could use it and she's been using it so you know that you're really solving a problem when um, you know, you're actually using it before even the demo. Congratulations, it's been just a pleasure seeing you coming up with all these features. Yeah, amazing job. Let's give them a big round of applause. For them. Yeah. All right, pretty, pretty special stuff there. Um, the second team that we have here tonight um, is Learnest. Um, so please give a big warm round of applause to Sarah, Connor, Ash and Brian. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Connor and together with Sarah, Ash and Brian, uh, we've come together over the last six months at the Wagon to learn and hone our skills in software development. The result is a web application called Learnest which we're excited to demo to you. So with all the shutdowns due to COVID, I found it really hard to maintain the study groups I was having while attending university in person. I used to use study groups to bounce ideas off each other and get help with my assignments. Now that university's online, I'm struggling to study for my computer science degree and get answers to all my questions. Actually, I've just remembered my friend Ash mentioned she was using a site called Learners to get answers to her course questions. I've never heard of it, so I'm going to go check it out. Learners. Got questions? Get answers. Explore the world's number one question and answer website for university students, academics, and lifelong learners. That's me. Browse questions by topic. Join our global campus. Follow your curiosity or master your chosen subject. I'm in much need of that. Let's, uh, let's have a look at some of the questions they've got. Can one believe in the existence of God without following any religion? Interesting. Can scholars who study politics in their own country or their religion be impartial? We've got a couple of interesting questions here. Not all quite what I'm after. Uh, I've got a tutorial coming up for my computer science degree. I've got to find and pose a question for discussion. So let's see if this site can help. So let's have a search for computer. Uh, quantum computers, a chimera, probably not quite what I'm after. Can agile development be applicated in traditional product development? Also not quite hitting the mark. Do you think that there's further scope for ergonomic design and essential gadgets around us? Potential candidate, that's kind of interesting. Can quantum computers make cryptocurrency mining obsolete? I like that question. Let's see. Success of cryptocurrency mining depends on the difficulty of generating hash codes with certain properties. All right, I think I think my class is going to love this one. Let's see. Oh, let's see if I can chuck chuck a cheeky upvote in there. 
I'm going to note this one down and uh, pose it for my class. So also, I've got an exam coming up in, uh, in a week. I haven't opened a textbook or watched a lecture for the past six weeks, so I'm going to need some help, I think. I've got to, I've got to ask a question. I'm going to try and find uh, some past exam answers because I hear the, the lecturer doesn't change the exams too much. So let's have a search. And you can see I didn't clear my cache. Melbourne University 2021 Python Comp 1101 past exam answers. Please help. I'm in dire need of some past answers to an exam I have coming up. Any assistance is greatly appreciated. Choose a file. Now, I reckon this question won't get much attention. So I'm going to uh, attach a photo of my cute dog, see if it gets a few more likes and views. And what can I tag it with? Let's go down. Computer, computer engineering. I think that's, that's relevant. So let's ask the question. There we go. Posted less than a minute ago, and there's Darby. So while I wait for some answers, let's see what other let's see what other uh, questions this site has. I might filter by newest first, and we should see Darby up the top. There he is, Brian. What is the meaning of life? Existential. Do you know any good augmented reality apps to work for in, in an elementary school? Not particularly interesting. Are emotional responses to literature a form of interpretation? Let's check that one out. Oh, actually, I've just seen, uh, I've got a little red dot over here. I've got a notification. Oh, that was quick. I've got three answers to my question that I just posted. This site's amazing. Let's go to the question. You should probe study. Oh, it's not very nice there. I'm trying to get some answers here. Go study. And oh, Brian to the, to the rescue. He's given me the answers I need. Let's copy those and I'll, I'll jot, jot those down in my notebook. Upvote for Brian and uh, downvote for Sarah. There we go. Thanks, everyone. That's Lernest. Thank you very much, Lernest. Um, it was really amazing seeing you going through, you know, the rebranding, <laughs> changing the color scheme. Uh, yeah, and just um, really building a lot of trust. And I loved how, you know, you discussed everything as a team and uh, checking your Slack notifications very late at night <laughs> when, you know, you decided on pushing some more front end. Um, yeah, it was all very, very exciting. Congratulations. Congratulations, Connor, as well. Amazing pitch, amazing job. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> what I say is super rewarding seeing all the students uh, develop so much in such a short period of time. So from all of the teachers, we want to thank all of the students for everything that they put into the course. So give yourself a round of applause there. All right, and to close the night out, we have our final application. Uh, the last team of the evening, Give Hub. So make some noise for Pip, Greg, Saki, and Ollie. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Uh, I'm here to talk to you today. Uh, my friend Saki uh, told me about the site. Give Hub. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the context being that, you know, I want to give back. It's been COVID, I haven't really been doing anything, I've been sitting at home, you know, feeling a bit bored, and I want to get back out there and, you know, meet my community. Um, and, you know, best way to do that, I reckon, is to give back. So, um, that's, uh, that's what GiveHub's all about. Uh, so, having a look here, wow, it looks great. Uh, you've got some, uh, oh, all sorts of community activities, that sounds about my speed. Um, discover your give personality. I reckon I want to do that. Match, oh, it looks kind of like a personality test, you know, like matching who I am with activities that would suit me. Let's, let's do that. Let's give it a go. All right, oh yeah, yeah, so it's, it's, it's like a quiz, it's getting to know me, that's smart. Um, so I'm stranded on an island, what's the first thing I do? Well, I'm a people person, obviously. 
So I will uh, try and find other humans, of course. Uh, I've got a cat, and she's cute, and her name's Iris, so I reckon uh, Papa and, and uh, Kitty. Uh, Martin Luther King, well, I reckon he'd be the best person to invite to dinner. He's a philosophical powerhouse. Uh, at a party, I would definitely cut half of that cake and give it to someone else. It's a great icebreaker. Take notes, guys. Great, great, great icebreaker. Uh, you broke up with the love of your life, damn. Um, <laughs> Self-care, I'd probably play Elden Ring, I'm not gonna lie, that's uh, definitely me. Um, what do you talk? Do I talk? Yeah. <laughs> uh, how often do you want to give back? I mean, as I said, I want to get involved with the community, so part of my lifestyle, that's my speed. And uh, yeah, group. Love, love plants. Uh, and yeah, I'm Greek Root, center of the party. That's me. Uh, hey, when you get an error, I give it a go. I'm gonna try and debug it. Okay, so sign up, get my results. Sounds good. All right, wonder what, wonder what I'll get. Who am I? I'm a beast master. Yeah, that's right. As I said, I've got a cat, you know. She's cute. Um, yeah, you're a beast master in name, really a softy at heart, love furry animals, and I hug trees. I've been known to hug a tree or two. Um, and I live for the outdoors. Yeah, I've got a swag, hashtag swag. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty good. Uh, what are these activities that, that are sort of catered to me? Oh yeah, animal welfare, community gardening, love a garden. All right, yeah, this, this was a great, great experience. You know, I'm gonna recommend this to my mate, Greg. Thanks, Ollie. Um, yeah, um, this looks like a really cool app. Thanks for recommending it to me. Um, I'm a bit different though. I don't want that many options there with that personality quiz. I'm a Gemini, of course, so can't make a decision for the life of me. I reckon I might just take a spin of this wheel and see if it can sort me out. Oh wow, here they come. Ooh. But there's a lot of them, so I'm glad I made this choice. I, I, can't, I can't decide for the life of me. Uh, let's give it a spin. See what we get. Donate food, money, and gifts. Um, that sounds cool, but why not one more spin? Why not? I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Administration. I mean, I'll do that a bit of work, so why not? Let's have, let's have a look. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so that's cool. It has a little um, page with the, the blurb for the activity as well as some organisations I can check out later. Um, that's pretty cool. It's uh, linking me up with some activity uh, organisations that I can look into and, and book a, a meeting or actually the activity itself. So um, that's really handy. I wouldn't have been able to make the choice myself as a Gemini. So I reckon I'll uh, pass this off to Pip who is... Um, also an, an avid volunteer and she loves to do it so she might like this app too. Cool, um, thanks Greg. Yeah, I've done a bit of volunteering in the past so I sort of know what kind of activities I like but lately I've been really busy at work and I don't really have a lot of time to give back so I need to find an activity that's like quite quick and easy that I can easily fit into my schedule. So maybe let's go and explore. Oh, wow, there's quite a lot of activities here. Um, I reckon let's just search for donate because I feel like that's really quick and easy. It's like a one-time thing. Let's see what that comes up with. Okay, I've got donate blood, food, money or gifts or become an organ donor. Um, you know what? I don't think I'm quite right, ready for that yet. So let's just see the filters instead. Um, okay, I see, oh, there's a um, short term commitment. So let's go with that and see what we have. Oh, wow, that's much better. There's a lot of variety here. Um, okay, uh, oh, get involved in the arts. I love that. So let's just favorite that one. And then let's keep going and see what else. Um, ah, events and festivals, yes, let's. Let's bookmark that one as well. Okay, uh, let's go to the profile and see um, see what else is there.
Join the give her bar. <laughs> yeah, really, what a sight for sore eyes. Like, just the design, everything. Beautiful. Just so beautiful, yeah. I sent it to other teachers from the other batches, and everyone was just, like, draw dropped. Amazing, amazing job. Congratulations. Let's give them a big round of applause again. Yeah, honestly, just seeing these apps, I'm sure actual devs are like, could I pull this off in such a short time? Like, I think you've done an amazing, amazing, amazing job. We're just so proud of you, and I'm sure, you know, as a teacher, might be very Absolutely. emotional, right? Yeah, it's an, it's an incredible journey. <laughs> it really is, like, and uh, it's humbling to watch the applications grow the way that they have. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. So, Batch 787, this is the final clap of your boot camp. That's what she thinks, but I just want to give a hand also to Manon and Paul at the back as well. So, give another round of applause for them. Yeah, so thank you very much to all the students because you've invested so much in yourself and I think that's really the best thing that you can do. Um, yeah, really watching all of you growing and pushing their limits. Um, yeah, I hope that you're very proud of yourself because you've done so much and it was really um, difficult at times and I know for, you know, for everyone uh, there are some up and downs. But you're here today and that's really the most important thing. So congratulations uh, once again. It could really not have been possible without our team of teachers. Everyone is so, so invested in your growth. Everyone is so keen to give you, you know, the coding bug. Um, ooh, that's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Didn't write that one. <laughs> anyway, uh, so really want to thank Glenn, Tom, Kathy, Talina, George, Fabrice, Anya, Maria, Mathieu, Yurek, Christine, Sergey, Julian, Luca, Kim, Cass, Dylan, and Ian. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, really this is just the beginning uh, because you're going to be in an industry uh, that's going to keep you very curious and open-minded and I hope that you're really going to love your professional life after this because this is the goal for us. We just uh, really care about you uh, boosting your career and loving what you do afterwards. That's all that matters. So I uh, cannot wait to see what this new chapter has in store for you and congratulations Batch 787, you've done it!